What's up, everybody? We're live right now, hanging out. I'm rocking the Mortal Kombat t-shirt in honor of seeing the new Mortal Kombat, which I really liked. I've seen it twice now. Uh, has everyone else seen Mortal Kombat? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments, in the chat. <clears throat> Tonight we're raffling, but we're going to be ending the raffle at 7 35 so we can wrap this puppy up there's a wrestling show on tonight with the aew world champion on it i'm going to make sure that the fans are able to uh head out and check that out if they want to not really digging this music this is uh not too hype i'm gonna go back to the old faithful the one i literally use every single week You're 10 minutes into it and you paused? Ah, oh, don't worry, it gets much better. The 90s one is better in your opinion. For, for certain things, I agree, like certain parts. Um, but I will say this one, the fatalities were incredible. Great for a video game movie, best Mortal Kombat movie so far. Story was a little weird, but it's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. A lot of forgiving fans for bad acting, I'll say that. What up, Cam? What up, Nails? What up, Ryan? What up, Craig? What up, FWPJR? What up, Chuck? What up, Wayne? What up, Samuel? What up, Ryan? Philip starting off the raffle real hot. Who's your pick to win, Matt Cardona or Brian Myers? Uh, I'm going to go Brian Myers on this one. He's uh, the closer friend of mine, uh, the better wrestler, um, the better human. Um, I'm going Brian Myers. Matt Cardona, kiss my booty. You got a sick toy collection, though. <laughs> what up, Matthew? What up, Mario? What up, Wesley? What up? Jaden, what up, Lori? Kenneth, Sam, Bruno, Jess, Ian, Leo. What up, Matt Spain? What up, Rock This Mike? James from Ireland. What up, Cassandra? Ryan, Kagebian. Yeah, I screwed that up. Sorry. Favorite donut flavor you've ever had? My favorite donut flavor I've ever had is the Cherry Loop Donut from Granddad's in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. It's delicious. Um, second to none. I'm a big blueberry guy. So, like, I love the blueberry donut at Tim Hortons. I love uh, the blueberry donut at uh, Voodoo Donuts in Texas. Um, I love the blueberry donut at Dunkin' Donuts. The Cherry Loop is just essentially the same thing. Just, uh, you know, a better flavor. More of a cherry than a blueberry. What up, Brian F. Pro? Okay, Craig Beckwith. So I'm assuming you don't watch Impact, but did you see Josh brought PD back? Which I think is freaking awesome. I did not see that, but that is awesome. Uh, it's like a little Team Canada. It's pretty cool. Anthony Lucero, welcome to the raffle. Okay, let me get to this uh, Matthew Brown question. How did it feel to main event Dynamite this past week? Also, no more Twitch. Welcome to the raffle, Matthew. Uh, it's uh, surreal to main event Dynamite. By my own hand, by the way. Just running in on matches, doing whatever the hell I want. Listen, if the wrestlers can just make matches for themselves like Darby Allen just handing out title matches all willy-nilly that's all good and great if the inmates are running the asylum the craziest one in the asylum will always do whatever the hell he wants so maybe I'll main event dynamite again great question though uh, no more twitch uh, for now no no more twitch for now 
Oh no, five is in the chat. Get out of get out of here. Get out. Listen. Al. Monday night on dark elevation. You're going to get elevated. I'm going to elevate your ass like I did the last time we wrestled with that ego's edge. That's the height of your career, literally. It's me throwing you as high as I can. That is that's the height of your career. Do you get that? And then what happens after? It's kind of like a free fall. And it doesn't get better than that. At least for me, I love it. But you do have nice shoes. And you did drive me to go see Mortal Kombat. So maybe I'll be extra nice to you. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> but you can hang out in the chat. And if you have a YouTube channel, I hope everyone goes to check it out and subscribes. Samuel. What match stipulation... Haven't I done, but I want to. Uh, oh, that's a really good question. I I mean, I've done most. I've done ladder. I've done cage. I've done TLC. I've done last man standing. I've done bull rope. I've done dog collar. I've done... Did I say TLC? I've done that. I guess hell in a cell or uh, elimination chamber or uh, triple cage match if anyone ever does that. Uh, definitely not the barbed wire exploding ring. Hell no. He <laughs> hell no. Let me keep going here, though. I don't want to miss uh, all these questions. CM Origins. Best Ego's Edge you've ever given. I gave one to Kylie Ray in Chicago. It was bonkers. Uh, I threw her... Anyways, go check it out. It's available on my YouTube channel. There's a whole feud recap of myself and Kylie Ray. Uh, it used to be called the Big Boy Bomb. Then it was renamed the Ego's Edge at AEW. But uh, the one I gave her is probably the craziest one. Great question, though, CM Origins. And welcome to the raffle and good luck tonight. Ken Domin, welcome to the raffle. Good luck, dude. Rio McCarthy. I see you've learned from Danhausen and went for the groin on Dynamite. LOL. I'm so hyped to see you and Darby go in the future in AEW. Listen. The murder hawk had to get kicked in the murder cock. And I actually Googled it. Birds don't have dicks. So that's probably why it didn't look like it hurt that much. It didn't freeze. I just didn't know what else to say after that. Uh, great comment, though, Rio McCarthy. Good luck in the raffle. Sam Bruno Jess. If you ever hit up Voodoo Donuts, try an old dirty bastard. Chocolate frosting, Oreo bits, and peanut butter. That sounds so good. Uh, I have hit up a Voodoo Donuts before. In one of my previous vlogs, I, I believe it was myself, uh, Mance Warner, Cody Lane... Gregory Iron? It's uh, Ethan Page Goes to Texas. It's one of my vlogs, or three days in Texas, or four days in Texas. Uh, really fun vlog. Check that out. We also went to a toy museum, which was not even as good as my toy room. So, <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Rob Clark says the best ego's edge he's ever given is always the next one. <laughs> yeah. Nails in New York. Were you aware Five was such an egomaniac? Thank you for the view, Alan. Like the video, please. No, I was not aware. I was not. But I'm happy he's here. I'm happy he's here. Ian Hunter. Also, Nails, good luck in the raffle. Ian Hunter. When you finally launch Darby with the Ego's Edge, are you going to launch him extra far? For the prank he pulled on the hitchhiker, I already gave Darby the ego's edge, okay? You know what? I'm going to do a little live editing right here. Yeah, hold on one second. Just uh, give me two seconds, and I'll let you see all my amazing work.
because I'm a little offended. When I give Darby the ego's edge, I already have. Look at this. What are you talking about? Look at that ego's edge. Look at this amazing graphic that I did while flying home on a disgusting day of travel from Jacksonville to Canada. This is what I do with my free time. I make graphics of me violently injuring my coworkers. God. What an amazing job I have. The coolest. But, if you want to support my craziness, you can. Join the raffle tonight and you have the potential of winning not only this t-shirt, but any t-shirt on my Pro Wrestling Tees store. ProWrestlingTees.com slash Ethan Page. You can go browse around and pick anything and everything you want from ProWrestlingTees.com slash Ethan Page. If you win the raffle, you have the choice of anything. Just let me know the size, let me know the color, and let me know where you live, and I'll get it shipped out to you and printed out. And you can join the raffle for as little as $1. Also, let's not forget Smart Sweets, hashtag snack from home. SmartSweets.com, use promo code official underscore ego 10, and you could get 10% off orders over $30 or more. And let's never forget about my P.O. Box. If you want to send me something, you can. Here's the information right here. I'll be opening things live on streams like this. So you're more than welcome to send anything you'd like. If you don't want to risk it, you don't, you're not a big gambler, that's okay. There's a sale going on for everyone that wants to support the vlog. Playedbyjulian.com has 25% off the entire store. Use code VLOG2021. The sale ends April 30th, 2021. But the thing I really want to talk about is eating with Ethan. Cheat meal video chat, patreon.com slash Ethan Page. And that happens tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be doing this an hour before Dark Elevation happens on the AEW YouTube channel. If you like eating like crap, do it with me. Look at me there, holding the Snickers and some Twizzlers. Wow. Can you really tell I made this graphic in three minutes? No? Well, I did. <laughs> so you're more than welcome to join. This is open to all Patreon level members. It's not exclusive to one tier or the other. You can join at whatever tier you'd like. The more the merrier. You have your video on. I see what you're eating. Sometimes we have guests. I'm gonna do my best to get uh, Hornswoggle back in to chat with us. The last time, on eating with Ethan cheat meal video chat uh, Cam who's in the chat right now actually ate an entire pie and Dylan Hornswoggle Postle sent him a free t-shirt so uh, we have a lot of fun doing those and I'm excited to do it again so yeah join us tomorrow join my patreon patreon.com slash Ethan page so Ian Hunter yes I did already launch Darby with an ego's edge so suck on that let me just uh, scroll up. I don't want to miss anybody. We got lots of people joining the raffle. Lori. So, how did you come up with the name all? Oh. <laughs> Running gag. Just bothering me to answer the same questions over and over again. She was joking, though. That was good. Good luck in the raffle, Lori. Matthew Brown. Are there any plans to do a show like Egos Amigos in the future, like on AEW's YouTube? Your show was my whole reason for subbing to High Spots. Um, I don't want to say yes or no, but it was kind of brought up in a little kind of discussion about potentially doing something that's similar to Egos Amigos. Um, stay tuned. You guys know me. I'm always in, doing things, trying to make things work. In you know, yeah, you'll see. Just wait. This is only the beginning, guys. Uh, just just kind of getting comfortable and just getting started so uh, hopefully more projects to come and uh, yeah just trying to just trying to just trying to stream live once a week for now and I, I can barely do that so let's uh let's see how things go good luck in the raffle though Matthew Brian hate you but good luck in the raffle so the name all ego where did it come from
Oh. All right. Good luck in the raffle, Brian. Cassandra Higgins. Ever going to play Among Us with the AEW crew? Yes. I can say yes because they've invited me every week. And I... Uh, I, it's my it's my fault that I haven't. I have to figure out a way to stream from my Mac to a PC with some kind of like um, I don't know. I have no idea. Anyways, so there's that. Uh, I also have to have the time and uh, the schedule. And I'm a, I'm a family man. I have I have a child, um, a wife. You know stuff to do. So I I also want to stream on YouTube once a week. I'm very limited with my free time now that I'm a giant celebrity with all elite wrestling, so it's it's tough. But I'm doing my best. Uh, but yes, I will definitely play Among Us with everyone um, when the time is right, which is hopefully soon. Ian Hunter, I meant when you beat Darby for the title. Oh, see now, now that. That is a different question. Yes, I think I'll probably just do it to the floor over the top rope uh, and just hope for the best for me. I just don't want to, like, you know, injure my shoulder throwing him too hard. Him, I don't care what happens. Craig Beckwith. So, what will happen first, Ethan, you and Sky getting a tag team title shot or are you getting a TNT title shot against Darby? Okay, that is a interesting question. Um, either or makes me happy, but I don't see anyone giving us title shots anytime soon. Management, not too happy with the way I'm acting. I don't know. I'm just trying to take opportunities. That's how this works. I, I you know, I'm sorry, Craig. I wish I could give you a, a straight answer. It's just, uh, some things just don't add up. You know, like you got Britt Baker complaining about the ranking system. And she has every right to. There's validity in her complaints. Uh, I believe Scorpio Sky deserved a rematch after his match with Darby. So does he. Uh, he literally went through a grueling ladder match to get his title shot. And Realistically, some of these contenders, like J.D. Drake, no clue why he got a title shot. Yet here he is, wrestling Darby on Dynamite. While my singles record at the time, I think, was... Three or four and zero. Oh, uh, have I've yet to be pinned in AEW? Think about that. Nobody has pinned me yet, or will. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Great question though. Let me scroll up. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Oh, I was about to miss some people. All right, here we go. Here we go. Philip Hamilton, favorite combat ninja and wild. And uh, uh, and why? Reptile for life, baby. Okay, so I my go-to is always Scorpion. But after the, I just saw the new Mortal Kombat movie, I might be switching over to Sub-Zero. It's my boy right here. He's going to freeze your ass. Which would be kind of fitting because I do like Mr. Freeze. So, you know. Wonder what would happen when these guys fought each other. Test your might, bro. So, yeah. I'm going to go with Sub-Zero. But uh, Reptile's dope. Smoke is dope. Uh, you know, lots of options. If you're deep into the Mortal Kombat world. Um, when I was a kid, I loved Reptile. Just because it was like a hidden character in the first game. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with Sub-Zero, though. <laughs> CM Origins. Page and Sky versus Darby and a Hitchhiker in a tag match, playa. I would love to Ego's Edge that Hitchhiker that tried to convince me he was going to stab me. Not a good day in the life of Ethan Page that day. Spanish God-ish. Are you doing any upcoming signings? I'm trying to get your signature on a poster. Nothing as of now. Um, stay tuned, though. 
obviously things are slowly opening up things are changing lots of stuff um in the works so stay tuned oh brian thank you for getting rid of some terrible comments i'm seeing appreciate it you're doing a fantastic job keep scrolling down here Alan Wallace. I already have the AEW Ethan Page t-shirt and it's sick. What is all egos go-to music at the moment? Love you, boy. Uh I like hip hop. I like rap. Um some house music or like techno, some dubstep. Is a I'm a mix. I'm a, I love just radio music too, like um, you know, whatever's popular. So pop music. Not too picky. I love oldies. I'm just not, you know, let's keep the country music, the opera, uh, out of the repertoire for me. But then again, like, I could do some Disney music, some show tunes. Really, it's just whatever I'm in the mood for. I'm not cutting off the curl. Uh, Jack Murphy. Ethan, other than Scorpio, who's the person you had never met that you've become friends with at AEW? So I've met Scorpio Sky. I just didn't realize we were going to get along so well. Um, well, I had never met Christian. I had never met Big Show. Uh, I had never met Matt Hardy. Um, I'm trying to think of who else I'd never met. I'd never met... Uh, Weirdly enough, five who was in the chat. Uh, great guy. Never met ten. I would say most of the AEW originals, um, they kind of made their names in AEW. I hadn't met. Uh, yeah, no one really sticks out like a real um, someone I don't like other than MJF. Just, you know, you guys get that one. Lane, good luck in the raffle. Lane Roanhorse. Wesley Willis, how was your day today? Was it not too hot or not too cold? Did you need a light jacket? Uh, it, was, it was good. <laughs> I would say the weather was fine. I did not need a jacket. I wore a sweater though. Ian Hunter, how long has it been that you haven't had a weekday job besides wrestling? What other types of jobs have you had? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, so I had a job while at Impact, but I would say halfway, when me and Josh started tagging, was about when I quit my job because my schedule got insanely crazy. Um, but I also there were there it was like ebbs and flows. Like there was there was moments where I was able to not have a job and just wrestle. Then it kind of dipped down a little bit. I needed to get a job again. Uh, but that was at the time that my wife wasn't able to work. So then it was like oh now I have to pick up that end. Um, yeah, I don't know. Steadily, though, maybe two years, three years that I haven't had a job. Uh, I've done social media for companies, graphic design for companies. Uh, I've washed dishes. I sold water softeners. Um, yeah, I, I, if I've had, I was a janitor. Lots of jobs. Many hats, no pun intended, while I wear a hat here. Lots of people jumping in the raffle, though. Let me get to these questions. Ken Dahman. If you like rap, who's better, Max Caster or Kevin Bennett from ESW? I would say Kevin Bennett as a pure lyricist and, uh, like, rapper, Kevin Bennett, as a character slash, like, performer... 
Max. Damien Westlake. If you could have a dream match with, with someone in Ring of Honor or New Japan, who would it be and why? I would say Okada or Tanahashi. I just feel like, why would you not want to wrestle the top of the top um, in a big company that's known around the world? Yeah. What up, Roonies? I did not work at Burger King. Kind of wish I did, though. Do I miss traveling with my BFF Swoggle? I miss being on shows with him. And uh, I guess traveling with him, but really he just fell asleep and sat in the driver's seat. Or in the passenger seat. Uh, yeah, I definitely miss being around Swoggle, though. It's probably the person that FaceTimes me the most. And I hope everyone watched this fight on uh, that Barstool pay-per-view rough and rowdy. Speaking of Swoggle, the last time uh, I got to really see him around fans was on my Eating with Ethan cheat meal video chat. Patreon.com slash Ethan Page. And the next one is tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us, and I might have Swoggle there too, at 6 p.m. Eastern. Join Patreon, Patreon.com slash Ethan Page. All tiers are eligible to join the Patreon Zoom call, and I'm super excited for that. And uh, don't forget, we're doing a raffle, and the raffle ends in about 20 minutes. Ian Hunter, the real rap question. Tupac or Biggie? I think Tupac, I would say. But if I'm being completely honest, I'm probably too young for either. I should go back and re-listen to all their stuff, but they were not in heavy rotation for me. Someone asked for my P.O. box? All right. Here it is. If you want to send me something, you're more than welcome to. Jack Murphy. Thoughts on Shizat the Rizat? <laughs> okay, listen. I loved this pay-per-view. Uh, rough and Rowdy. But you ha you've been warned. Um, it is the most... I don't even... I can't even... I can't... I can't... I can't describe it to you. When I... I FaceTime... Hornswoggle this morning and we talked about his fight and the whole pay-per-view and the conversation should have been about him but 80% of the conversation was literally about the spectacle of this circus uh, that went down there was a guy who fought in a boxing match and whatever happened happened whether he win, won or lost doesn't matter after he was literally so out of shape and blown up and heaving that for three fights he leaned on the ring catching his breath and the hard cam after in between fights kept zooming in on him being like i think his name was louis He's like oh louis still catching his breath on the outside i was choking i was laughing so hard and then another guy won a fight and he called out a bunch of WWE wrestlers and said he would F them up. And then before he finished, he was like, also, Demi Lovato, if you want a man to treat you right, come to me. And I just screamed laughing so hard. My, my wife was like, are you okay? And I couldn't keep it together. It was the what some of the funniest stuff I've ever seen in my life was on this pay-per-view. And it was definitely not meant to be funny. But I was just dying laughing. Yeah, just so good. And the pace of the pay-per-view, it was just like... People were walking to the ring to fight. And they were interviewing people that had just fought. The flow was great. The jokes on commentary were great. Um, 
It was great. It was it was so entertaining. But definitely um, explicit content, and I would say, I don't know, 18 or older. I'm just don't if you're gonna watch, don't have your kids around. Um, I'm all for uh, promoting content like this because it, it entertained the hell out of me. But I, I, it's definitely not for kids. Philip Hamilton, what's the worst wrestling injury you have witnessed? That I've witnessed? Ooh. It's a good question. I, I, I was there when David Arquette's neck was sliced open. And on that same day, Marco Stunt broke his leg. And Facade also broke his leg, I think. Yeah. It was the craziest day ever for 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 me. Uh, and that was in LA, I want to say, or v Vegas. No, no, it was LA. I wrestled D'Lo Brown that day. Karen, just saying hi to you and all the egomaniacs. Well, hello, Karen, and good luck in the raffle to you. Brian, hey, friend. I like candy, but don't want all the bad macros got any suggestions wink wink ad time well look at that just lobbing me up to talk about smart sweets yeah that's right you want delicious candy but don't want to increase your calorie intake or your sugar intake or spike your insulin well guess what you can get some smart sweets and you can hashtag snack from home smartsweets.com has the hookup and ethan page has the discount code use code official underscore ego 10 and you can get 10 percent off orders over 30 dollars or more and yes i actually eat this stuff and yes i eat them often and yes i'm promoting something i actually enjoy so yeah if you want candy i highly suggest you use smart sweets and my promo code it's delicious stuff and they just started dropping new stuff. Uh, I saw they have the um, the Twizzler option available now. And they also have the Gummy Worm option available now. But my favorites, my personal favorites, are the Peach Rings and the Swedish Fish. Get the candy. Go get your candy. AEW title or the TNT title? Which one do you plan to go for first? Well, if you watch the show, you might be able to figure that one out. Yeah. Oh, Ricky Shane Page in the chat. Ricky Shane Page says he found these when he was in Tampa and they were great. Look at that. And I didn't even have to pay him to say that. So, use my code. <laughs> Smartsweets.com. Use promo code official underscore ego 10. Get 10% off your orders over $30 or more. And you know where you can eat them? You can eat them with me on patreon.com slash Ethan Page tomorrow at 6 p.m. And we're all on video. So technically, it's like a meet and greet. Uh, I'll be able to meet my fans, my Patreon members on a Zoom call. I'll chat with you live, talk about what we're eating, uh, what's going on with everybody. And uh, yeah, we get to get to know each other and chat. And uh, sometimes we have guests join who also want to eat like crap. And it's a really fun time. So yeah, if you want to join, now's the time. Go to patreon.com slash Ethan Page and join the fun. And on the raffle, we have about 15 minutes left. So if you're looking to join the raffle, all you got to do is use the super chat. Ask a funny question. Ask an informative question. Ask a crazy question. Either way, I'm going to read your name, give you a shout out like Ian Hunter right here. What did you think of the Shang-Chi trailer? Did you ever watch uh, Simu Liu in Kim's Convenience? I love Kim's Convenience, so it's going to take me a while to, like, get used to him as a superhero and not, like, the uh, screwed-up brother who doesn't talk to his dad. 
Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm a fan. And it's a really funny show. Uh, it's also a Canadian show and probably the best Canadian show. And not to brag, but the entire cast pretty much tweeted at me one time. And uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the writer's actually a wrestling fan, which is pretty cool. Um, but what did I think of the trailer? The trailer was dope, and I'm super excited for I love martial arts movies. I love the martial arts, like, mythology. And, um, yeah, I, I love the vibe of it. And I'm super excited and, and can't wait to see uh, what, what, what it's all about. I, to me, so... I, I knew nothing about Guardians of the Galaxy before the movie came out, and this is essentially the same thing. So I'm hoping that they keep their track record going of uh, making me fans of uh, things that I'm not really familiar with. So I'm really pumped for this movie. Do I like tacos or burritos? I prefer tacos over burritos. Um best tacos i've had was at a place called uh the taco stand i believe and it's actually in jacksonville and i eat them in my hundredth vlog with brian cage so go check that out uh, on my youtube channel how dare i say that when letter kenny exists oh yeah that's canadian too and also a very funny show uh and uh k trevor wilson is a buddy of mine and uh we almost had him on an alpha one show got became too much of a headache he's too he's too famous christian ramos pick eight aew talent and their mortal Kombat equivalent oh damn i like this okay i'm gonna say uh mjf as johnny cage he's douchey he thinks he's a big deal and he's he's got the gift of gab uh i will also say ray phoenix and pentagon would be scorpion and sub-zero which ones you know what i'll say scorpion is phoenix and penta is sub-zero i'm gonna say brian cage can be goro because he's super jacked uh, you just add an extra set of arms on him, and he would look like a maniac. Um, I would say... I don't know if there's any Australians. I think I might be able to get away with being Kano. I'm quick-witted, and I have the, uh, the, the original game beard and hair. You just throw on the little laser guy, and I could probably get away with that. Um... I'm going to say, oh, who would be, I'd say Anna J would be Sonya Blade. And, oh man, is there, is that enough? Would that be enough? I think that's enough. Is that, was that eight? Who's like really ripped? They could be Liu Kang. And throws sweet kicks. Oh, Luchasaurus, Reptile. There you go. That's an easy one. Do an Australian accent for us. I can't do that. If I butcher that, then it'll be like, oh, Ethan Page is crazy and offensive. <laughs> Christian Ramos says he'll take it. All right, perfect. Blake Goudreau. Hey, Ethan, see you tomorrow during the cheat meal. Yeah! Join the cheat meal, guys. You can still join. Tomorrow night, we're doing a Zoom call on my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Ethan Page. April 26th at 6 p.m. We eat like crap. We talk to each other on a Zoom call. I get to meet you face-to-face, -face, kind of. Um, we get to hang out for an hour, which is always a good time. Whoa, 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 whoa. The new Kim Convenience spinoff just wrapped in Hamilton. I want to get in this. I want in this. What do you mean? What's it called? What's the show called? 
Oh, Trailer Park Boys, great Canadian show. Sunnyvale, it's called? Oh, Pac as Liu Kang? That's great. No, Quan Chi wouldn't be Evil Uno. Quan Chi would be Dustin Rhodes. And he would just paint his face like Quan Chi. Oh, you know what, though? Pac as Shao Kahn. Just a jacked up dude with long hair and like... They can just shave his head. Or Brian Cage as Shao Kahn. Oh man, that would be sick. Yeah, so the show is called... What's the show called? Is it Sunnyvale? No, see, Eddie Kingston might be a better Kano than me, to be honest. Sting as Raiden? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Wardlow as Shao Kahn, also a great, great option. Jay Peterson, top wrestler in WWE, ECW, Impact, New Japan, ECW, AEW. Top wrestler ever. Okay. In WWE, mine is The Rock. ECW, for me, RBD. Impact, NTNA, AJ Styles, or Monty Brown. New Japan, Kenny Omega. AEW, me. Just wait. I'll prove myself right. Cassandra Higgins, favorite Disney park and why? Magic Kingdom and because it's the OG. It has the most bang for your buck. And I have a daughter that's three years old. And there's more stuff for her to do there than anywhere else. Uh, pregnant women can also ride most of the rides. I know that sounds like a, like a crazy thing to say, but it's kind of important. Uh, if you're not up for, you know, like getting jerked around on roller coasters and stuff like that, there's a lot of attractions for people that, uh, you know, don't want whiplash or concussions <laughs> or don't do well with being shaken around. Uh, it has the best food, best restaurants. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can meet more characters there. Not that they're even doing that right now. Either way, Magic Kingdom, best castle too. Magic Kingdom, number one. Great question, Cassandra. Why two flax? Welcome to the raffle. Good luck. We got five minutes left for the raffle. You want to join the raffle? Now's the time. Use the super chat option. Ask a funny question. Esteban Caro. Go to create a wrestler finisher. Any game. Uh, no joke, it was usually the Razor's Edge. Because no one other than... Okay, so three people tried to use it. One, Razor Ramon used it. It was amazing. And anytime people see the move, they obviously think of him. Then Sheamus used it for a little bit, but it ended up changing. Uh, Sheamus' finish changed a bunch of times. I know he used that. Then he used uh, the Kryptonite Crunch. Then he used the Rock Bottom Backbreaker. Then he used the Pump Kick, um, which I'm pretty sure it's still the Pump Kick. But yeah. Uh, and then uh, Mordecai actually did it as his finisher. Um, but that was short-lived in WWE. Uh, and did he use that as Kevin Thorne too? Probably. And now I would be the next um, using it on uh, television. I try and make it a little different by throwing people as humanly far as possible. Um, you know, add my own spin to it. But yeah. It was always my go-to for creative wrestlers in video games. It's a great finisher. DGMC. What's your take on the film, TV, adaptation of books, video games, comics, etc.? How faithful to the source material do you feel they should be with changes? Okay, so 
This is my thought on this. Consider all mediums the same. So books, TV, movies, um, I, like literally anything that can tell a story, I lump it all together. So the minute a comic book writes a script or essentially like a, a, a version of a story, that's it. It's already been done. So recreating that with a video to me is a little silly. Obviously, they're going to change it and have to tell a different version of it or their own version of it. It does not hurt my heart for them to change the path or direction of a story or a detail or any of that. It's To, to me, it's, it's their version. It's their uh, choice. It's their narrative that they're trying. P plus, when it comes to the movies and stuff like that, they're telling such a long-form storytelling that they're trying to set things up for six seven eight movies down the line um and sometimes with these comic books uh they're doing the same but in a different direction uh, to me it's not offensive for them to kind of tell their own version of the story it excites me too because it's something you haven't seen right great question though and good luck in the raffle jackson arms who are you pulling for tonight kenny or rich uh kenny fellow it's my boss <laughs> I, I, good luck Kenny dripped squad word squid word can I get a shout out all right three minutes left in the raffle join by using the super chat Justin lie Kevin or just lie Kevin Stiffest worker you faced, and why is it Danhausen? Because he puts teeth in your mouth and then kicks it. And he's very evil. Makes a lot of sense. Can we be friends? Alex Williams wants to know. Sure. I love all my egomaniacs. Anybody that's uh, willing to spend time with my dumbass on a YouTube live stream is cool with me. I appreciate any and all support. And, uh, yeah. Yes, we can, Alex Williams. Hardee's 703. What do I believe could make wrestling better? Great question. Uh, I think more rules. I don't mean rules in the ring. I mean rules behind the scenes, kind of dictating um, that not every match is kind of the same. Uh, I liken it to a concert. Um, imagine if you went to go see your favorite band and all three opening acts already played all of their songs. So by the time you actually see that band perform, yeah, it's cool. You went to go see them. But realistically, you're going to be burnt out of all the songs that they've played because three people have already played them and probably not as good uh, as the main event. So I would love for wrestlers to stop doing all the same moves and sequences and moments. And I would like it to be an actual show. And the funniest thing is that all the wrestlers that disagree with me because they want the creative freedom to have this, these matches that they feel that they should be able to, which I'm all for that. It's art. It's subjective. And I, I believe in that as well. I always ask them, who were their favorite wrestlers in the 90s? And did anyone else do any of their moves? No, they didn't. Because if you had already seen a bunch of Stone Cold Stunners, by the time Stone Cold came out, it wouldn't have been as cool. Or Rock Bottom, or People's Elbow, or The Fame Master, or The X Factor, or uh, Sweet Chin Music, or The Pedigree, or, you know, like, I could go all day. Because guys like that, back in the day, they had their set performance. It was, it's, it's an, it was an entire show. I think that would make uh, wrestling a lot better. George Ortiz, welcome to the raffle. Good luck tonight. J 
Jay Peterson, the last raffle entry. Sonny or Trish? Ain't talking wrestling. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, but I will just automatically choose Trish Stratus because she's Canadian. Tomorrow is your birthday, Mr. Downtown. Happy birthday. All right, guys, the raffle is officially closed. Matt Spain is working on the beautiful wheel. And once we get that puppy out, we'll find out who the winner is and who wins a t-shirt from ProWrestlingTees.com slash Ethan Page. And they can pick any design that they want. And don't forget, tomorrow night, Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for free on AEW YouTube channel. You can watch Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky take on Alex Reynolds and five of the Dark Order in a tag match. And it's going to be awesome. So check it out. Maybe you'll see me ego's edge someone 10 feet in the air and drop them on their head. Which will be awesome. Either way, it's always fun to watch All Ego Ethan Page on Dark Elevation. Matt Spain says he sent the wheel. Here it is. We can now find out who won the raffle. Got this baby loading. All right. Spin the wheel. Make a deal. Who is the winner? Ian Hunter with the victory tonight. Ian Hunter. Congratulations, Ian. Uh, what you want to do is shoot me an email, ethanpage at live.ca. Let me know what t-shirt you want. Let me know what size you want it. And let me know your address, and we'll have that shipped out to you as soon as possible. Ian Hunter. Shoot me an email, ethanpage at live.ca. Thank you, Matt Spain, uh, for being so quick to draw the raffle. Hell yeah. Now I'll be able to sneak upstairs and say goodnight to my daughter. But I want to make sure I get all these super chats. I don't want to miss anybody, even though it was after the raffle. The James Awesome. Can't wait to see Josh become X Division champ. Hell yeah. Good luck to Josh Alexander tonight in that big match on that wrestling event happening tonight. Available on pay-per-view, I believe. Andre Hodge, no raffle, but who would you prefer to Ego's Edge? Drail or the Legend, Big Dre? And just for fun, say my gimmick gimmicks again for the new people and add A Money. How many freaking names do you have? Dre, Big Dre, Andre, Drail, the Legend. Now you have A Money? What? I can't remember. I can barely remember all the terrible gimmicks I did. Now you expect me to remember all of yours? I would love to Ego's Edge all of your characters. And I would like to big boy bomb them too. And for the OG vlog viewers, they know exactly what that is. And I know you know what that is, Dre. Or should I say A, -A, -A Money? Ugh. Uh. <laughs> what's up guys what's up the crew what's up kim we're just wrapping this up appreciate everyone who joined the raffle today it was a lot of fun appreciate all the people joining and staying along congrats to ian hunter tonight uh on winning <laughs> brian says he's a curl guy How do I do a vlog? Oh, lots of YouTube videos you can watch uh, that'll be able to hook you up. All right, guys. One last question I'll do. Alex D. Leon, would you and Scorpio Sky go for the tag team titles? Sure. I just want gold. I want to cement my name in history with AEW uh, as one of the best. And the more titles I win, the better it's going to be. 
Do I have a code for smart suites? Yes, I do. Let me pull that up right before I disappear. If you want smart suites, go to smartsuites.com and use code official underscore ego 10 and you can get 10% off $30 or more orders. And one last plug for this bad boy. Join patreon.com slash Ethan Page and tomorrow you can be on a Zoom call with me. That's right. Video chat. We'll be able to hang out, eat some food together. You can ask me anything you want uh, privately on a private Zoom call with me and all the Patreon members. I appreciate any and all support. So if you want to join the Patreon, please do that. Thank you guys so much. We're going to end the stream right now. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to stream again, but stay tuned. Follow my socials. Uh, I'll update you guys as much as I can and as soon as I can. See you later.